Hello Cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome, and if it's not, welcome back. We are so very happy you have joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, please click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. It's a simple thing to do, it only takes a second and it means you never miss a video. Chief skaters, I think everyone is feeling the pinch this Christmas. I don't really care what the news says we're spending on Christmas because no one I know is spending more than they have before. In fact, most of us are cutting back on the cost, not the celebration, but the cost because they're finding sticking to their budget right now downright hard. We all want that magical Christmas, you know, the storybook type, with the perfect tree and the perfectly decorated home with lots of perfectly wrapped presents under that perfect tree and the perfect family sitting around the beautifully decorated table that is absolutely groaning under the weight of all the food. But really, that's just fake. Now, Christmas is about family and friends, remembering the birth of Christ and the gift of his life and about sharing joy and love with our friends, our family, our neighbours, our colleagues, even strangers. It's not about paying a fortune for Santa photos or to go to an expensive show or to eat out at an expensive restaurant, buy fancy clothes for parties you don't really want to go to. So here are eight fun things you can do with your family and your friends that don't cost a cent. Wait until dark and go for a walk around a neighbourhood to see all the Christmas lights. This is something we do every year. Even now the kids aren't kids anymore. The lights don't have to be, you know, millions in every home. But just seeing someone's Christmas tree lights twinkling through a window is beautiful. Or well, they might put fairy lights in a tree or a bush or someone might set up an activity. Someone else might have a full-blown scene in their front yard. It's the spirit of community and the spirit of Christmas that you get when you do that, and it costs nothing. In fact, it's paying you back because you're getting some free exercise. Another thing you can do is Attend the carols by candlelight at your local school, even if you don't have children there. Again, it's part of your community. So give the school a call and ask them if they're doing carols or a concert and if it is open to the community. Then check with your local church for their holiday program. Just about every church will have recitals, carols, concerts, plays during the lead up to Christmas. And this is a really lovely way to celebrate and be involved with your church community. Some of them um, run children's programs too with crafts and stories and games that are free of charge. Along those lines, why not go to midnight service on Christmas Eve and then come home and let everyone open just one gift before they go to bed? A side benefit of that is kids go to bed late they may not wake up quite so early on Christmas morning or have a Christmas movie marathon and watch one Christmas movie a night some favorites in our house are Miracle on 34th Street the original in black and white just love that one and the remake we have it on DVD another is a it's a wonderful life that's a Christmas classic Holiday Inn, some of you might know it as White Christmas, and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, if you've got a little, you know, warp sense of humour. If you have little children, let them bake and decorate a special biscuit or cupcake to leave for Santa on Christmas Eve, and don't forget the carrot for Rudolph. Very important. How about just turning off the TV? 
gather the family around and read a different Christmas story every night, ending with the second chapter of Luke from the Bible on Christmas Eve. Then you can put the kids to bed, they'll have calmed down, you can have a peaceful night. Or start a new tradition and only play Christmas music in the car during December. It's a great way to teach kids your favourite Christmas carols and for you to learn some of the newer songs. I did this with our kids on the 1st of December. Um, we put cassettes and then CDs into the, where every time we're in the car and it was Christmas music. I still have my Christmas music in the car because I like it. So there you go. There are eight fun things you can do with your family and your friends, young and old, and they don't cost a cent. So your budget will be safe and totally unaffected by Christmas entertainment. Now, I would like to know, what are your favourite no-cost fun things to do for Christmas? Let me know in the comments below. I read every comment, and if you've got a question, pop it in there. I do my best to answer all your questions. Um, so don't be afraid to ask. Now, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, because I really appreciate you taking your time to watch me and listen to me. If you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And then a thumbs up to show me that you like the video because that just boosts my ego like it means boosting. But it helps me to know what you like to watch. And if you know someone who might like this video or who might like to know more about the Cheapskates Club, please click the share button to send them the link. I'll be back very soon with another Chipskates Club video to show you how to live life debt free, cashed up, and laughing. But until then, happy cheapskating, everyone, and Merry Christmas.